Hey guys, welcome back to MKC Electronics. This is one of my another quick videos to show you guys what I did discover on my Ender. So I have a uh, two Enders V2, and uh, I did the uh, update uh, their software because I couldn't cope the, with the uh, with the original one. I did find it uh, very basic, and uh, so I did. Uh, Google and lots of YouTube videos watching now. There is a thing called a Gyres UI. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce that correctly, but basically, you load the system on it. You download that from him. Uh, there is a uh, lots of uh, lots of videos how to do that on YouTube already. But what I want to show you in this video, what I did, did find that's awesome. Yeah. So you go in this menu, and uh, because I'm running over the school already. So I, I need to pause my print. So you go tune, you scroll down, and here is a menu for filament change. So you press that, and it says confirm filament change. Confirm. Filament change, please wait for prompt. I don't know what I mean, but yeah, we're waiting. And it's finishing its uh, sequence or whatever. And uh, in that time, once it's stopped, you can go ahead and pull the old filament and then uh, put a new one. Okay, so now it's finished. Filament change, please wait for prompt, still saying. Insert filament, press to continue. So now is the time. So I will release the handler on the extruder, pull this one out, Ta -da -da. and uh, pull the other, put the other screw in there. And cut this one under the angle nicely. Put it back in. Guide it through my extruder. And I'm pushing, pushing till I can, but I'm not forcing that, yeah, because it's no need. Just pushing. Okay, I'm at the end. Now, it will say, continue. I think I did took so too long, Jesus. I think I did took too long. Or it's just taking the temperatures back one of those okay pure purge the filament so now you can actually do purging and it should I will take you of the stand so you can see it should purge push through uh, the filament so you don't have uh, like a gap in there or whatever push much more yes Okay. Okay, now it's doing that. All right, we can guide this one away. And I think that's fine. So, oh, set this one off. Ouch. And we don't want to perch anymore. So, you will press cancel and it should continue where it left sometimes it leaves like a stain on it or something but it will get lost in a print anyway and it's keep going that's how you change filament on the Ender V2 when you update your software all right guys thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and i will see you in next video